dear students in this lecture we are going to see some mechanisms by which the replication process have been taking place there in the organism the first one is called as a bidirectional replication or theta replication and the next one is called as rolling circle replication or sigma replication here the theta and sigma refers to the greek symbol that is during the course of the replication or during the molecular events of the replication you can able to see such a structure there on the dna molecule that is a theta symbol like structure or sigma symbol like structure in the dna molecule during the course of replication first we look at the points related to the theta replication model it is also referred as a bidirectional replication before going into the explanation we look at the definition of what is meant by replicon replicon is a dna molecule or an rna molecule or even a small portion or region of a dna or a rna molecule the replicates from a single origin of replication that is from a single origin of replication if something is starts replicating it is referred as a replicon the initiation of dna replication within a replicon occurs at a fixed point known as origin so you can able to look at a point called as origin from which the replication will be starting the bacterial chromosomes which is circular and has a single origin of replication from which the replication starts the single origin of replication refers to a stretch of dna molecules that found to possess some specific nucleotides for example the rec site is a kind of site which is present in the origin of replication there in the e coli cells so during the course of the replication you can able to see a theta structure formation that is an intermediate structure formed during the course of replication is theta structure in the middle one you can able to see a theta structure so this is a structure which actually resembling the theta symbol that is theta greek symbol so it is referred as a theta replication at the same time the replication is taking place by direction that is in both the direction so this region is referred as replication bubble so here in this image you can able to see the replication bubble you can able to see the new strand that is shown in a blue color and the old strand is shown there in the black color so during the course of the bi directional replication that is that particular replication bubble extends on both the direction or on both the ends of the double stranded molecule so this is the reason it is referred as a bi directional replication so this theta structure is an intermediate structure that is formed during the course of replication there in the prokaryotic dna as the prokaryotic dna is commonly made of a single chromosome and it will be circular in nature so these are the steps that have been explained there next the steps that are involved there in this bi directional replication or theta mode of replication which commonly takes place in the prokaryotes includes formation of protein that initiates a dna replication will be mainly recognizing the re region re region refers to the starting point or origin point from which the replication starts so it recognizes a short stretch of sequence that have been present there in the re region and attaches to the particular region and that leads to further separation of the two strands that are opening up as a replication bubble the replication of the dna then proceeds in both the direction you can able to see the direction that is replication is proceeding in both the ends so it is referred as a bi direction replication until the entire molecule of the dna is copied and roughly if you if you look at from the origin side approximately at a 180 degree opposite to that of the origin you can able to find a termination site so this is an origin site and from the origin site the replication forks are starting and the replication is proceeding in bi direction that is in both the direction so it extends while it's extending it forms into the 
theta like structure that resembles the Greek alphabet. Roughly if you look at 180 degree to that of the origin site you can able to see a termination site for the replication. So at a 180 degree in the termination site some special proteins of the cells will be recognizing that is these proteins are referred as a test protein. The function of this particular protein is to attach the in the termination site and they will be blocking the further progression of the replication fork. The two circular molecules that are linked together will be much looking like a links of chain. This links of chain will be further unlinked into separate molecule with the help of an enzyme called as a topoisomerase 4. After the completion of the DNA replication, the DNA is partitioned to each daughter cells. That is, each daughter cell will be receiving a copy of the chromosome that have been multiplied during the process of DNA replication. This particular process is mainly aided with the help of special cell division related protein called as a FTS Z protein. So this is a kind of protein which is universally present there in the bacteria. This protein is something analogous to that of the tubulin protein present in the eukaryotic organism. This protein plays a major role there in the cell division process of the cells. So this FTS protein is the one which mainly involved there in the bacterial cell division as it forms the Z ring during the process of cell division. This process of cell division was sometimes even referred as a Keynes model of DNA replication. Since Keynes is a person who has performed certain experiments to prove that this particular bidirectional replication of the DNA is being taking place there in the organism.